today yes one thing it starts with the letter m can you guess what it is it's mother's day and it's coming just in seven days yes one of the greatest days of the year because we don't want you to forget it next up we have a never seen the uptown song and remember uptown is indeed the place to be what are you doing seth drawing a picture of mom for mother's day oh for the mother's day project in the newsletter no, I'm just drawing it in case Mom forgets the photograph. I'll just send this in. What are you doing? I remembered. I better save extra money just in case I forget to put in a project for the Mother's Day project. I get it. Next week, if our mom picture is shown and she asks us what happened, she's not going to hear. I don't know. I don't know. Oak Town is the place for me. The Jesus died and set me free. It's where I grow in Christ and deep. Overcome and go. Oak Town is the place for me. The Jesus died and set me free. It's where I grow in Christ and deep. Oh, can come and go. Oh, can come and go. Come to Jesus. Oh, can come and go. Go for Jesus. Oh, can come and go. Come to Jesus. Oh, can come and go. Oh, can come and go. Come to Jesus. Oh, can come and go. Go for Jesus. Oh, can come and go. Come to Jesus. Oh, can come and go. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Pastor Rafael, and welcome to Oaktown Live, where we come to know Jesus and go to, whoa, that's right, live Jesus. Well, let's see, we had Joel and Josiah to do our welcome, we had Seth and Amaria to do the news, and we had Rose Kalen to do our Oaktown song. Didn't they do an amazing job? They really did. Let's put our hands together for them. Excellent job, guys. Well, up next, we're going to make sure that we- Fruit! No gifts! You're both wrong. Ugh. Well, what are you guys talking about? Well, I believe the Holy Spirit gives us fruit, you know, the character of Jesus. And I believe that he gives us gifts, you know, like talents and abilities. And I believe they're both wrong. I believe we've learned everything we can about the Holy Spirit. Oh, well, actually, Jamie, there's still more to learn about the Holy Spirit. And we're, in fact, we're going to do some of that during Children's Story today. So, guys, listen, let me go get ready, and I'll see you guys after the announcements. Okay, All Pastor. Right. Well, Jamie, so who's right? Does the Holy Spirit give us fruit? Or does he give us gifts? Maybe he gives us both. Wrong, Wrong answer. answer. Fruit. Gifts. Fruit. Gifts. Shush. Hi, kids. Guess what? Spoiler alert. Jamie is right. The Holy Spirit gives us both fruit or character, like Tony said, and gifts or talents, like Artie said. In fact, we start a new series today, Fruit and Gifts of the Spirit. This series is a continuation of our last month's series, The Holy Spirit. But what will be different is that we will focus on the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. We will talk about the fruit of the Spirit during Oaktown Live and highlight the gifts of the Spirit during children's time. Now, before we get to our children's story, let me remind you that this Monday, May 3rd, is the last day to get that one picture of your mother into Oaktown Live at gmail.com. Sorry, no exceptions. And next Monday, May 10th, is the last day to get your other May projects in. No exception for that as well. And remember, you can find out the details of how you turn in your Mother's Day picture and of how you complete the other projects for May by going on to our webpage, OUCSDA.org slash Oaktown and click the newsletter tab. Well, up next, our children's story. 
Kids, I am so excited about our new series, The Fruit and Gifts of the Spirit. So to get us started, you will, re- you will remember that on last week, we talked about how the Holy Spirit came on Jesus in the bodily form of a dove or even of a pigeon, right? What do you know about pigeons or doves? Did you know that dove and pigeon couples stay together for life? Yeah, all birds don't do that. In fact, most birds don't do that. But dove and pigeon couples stay together for life. So among other things, doves and pigeons can remind us of love, and love is a fruit of the Spirit. In fact, the fruit of the Spirit are basically the character or attitude or actions of Jesus. Let's see if you can say that with me. The fruit of the Spirit is the char- is character, is the character or attitude, or actions of Jesus. All right, let's try that again. The fruit, because I need to try it again. The fruit of the Spirit is the character, or attitude, or actions of Jesus. So let's look at a story that's found in John chapter 2, and I invite you to read it later. It's about Jesus going to Cana and going to a wedding. Jesus was invited. It probably was a friend's wedding, or may have been even one of his family member's wedding, and his mother was there. All right, so this is how the story went. Jesus went to the wedding, and you know why Jesus went to the wedding? Because Jesus had joy. Can you do that sign? That's sign language for joy. Yes, Sister Angie North, help me with that. Can you do that? And you got to smile when you do it. Jesus had joy, and that's one of the fruit of the Spirit. When they ran out of drink at the reception, you ever go to a place and they ran out of drink? Well, they ran out of drink. And Jesus' mother told him about it. And Jesus decided to do something. And you know why he decided to do something for his mother? Because he loved her. Can he do that? He loved her. Do you love your mother? I love my mother. Well, Jesus told the waiters to get some water and to take that water and to put it into these large jars. And then Jesus told them to take the water and to serve it to the person who was in charge of the reception. And then when the person who was in charge of the reception took any drank it. It was so good. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. It was so good. It was so great that he said, this is the best drink ever. So Jesus not only made a drink for them that they didn't have because he was kind. Can you do that? Kind. Jesus made it better than ever. Jesus was so kind, he made it better than ever. So let's tell our story real briefly using our sign language. Jesus went to a wedding because he had joy. Can you do that with me? He had joy. Then Jesus helped his mother out because he loved her. And then Jesus made a drink for them because he was so kind. How many of you want to have joy? How many of you want to have love? How many of you want to um, also be able to, what was that third thing? We had joy. We had love. That's right. You said it. He was kind. How many of you want to be kind? Well, these are the fruit of the Spirit. And the way we get it is through the Holy Spirit. Well, let's sing about the Holy Spirit, and I will be right back. Someone asked me about the Holy Spirit. Can I touch him? Can I feel him? I know he's holy, but can he still hear? I'm just a child, I'm just a kid, but I still have problems I want to hear. So let me tell you about the Holy Spirit. He's the 
the Holy Spirit. He's the Holy Spirit. Oh, we're back. Wasn't that awesome? Thank you so much, Elena and Vincent. Well, listen, guys, we're going to learn more about the fruit of the Spirit on next week. We will also learn about the gifts of the Spirit during children's time. So I can't wait. Well, listen, it's now time for you to ask your parents to go online to OUCSDA.org slash Oaktown to download the sermon notes. You know why, right? So that you can participate in the sermon, but also so you can become eligible for a prize. But we all know the great prize, right? I know some of us want that gift. But the greatest prize is the message that God has for us through Dr. Bird. And every time we pay attention to the sermon, guys, guess what? The Holy Spirit can help to grow the fruit of the Spirit in us. The joy and the kindness and the love. I will see you after you hear the music kid and the post kid during children's time. And you'll see me. Hi kids, is prayer just for asking? No. Prayer is also for getting to know Jesus better. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for making us all special and for blessing us with special abilities and talents. Please help us to use what makes us special to know you and serve you better. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, kids!